Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials today. Hopefully a fairly short one. First order differential equations in using ODE 45 Runga Kutta 45 fourth order in MATLAB. Simple problem dy dt equals minus 5y and no um, equation editor here dy equals minus 5y dt dy over minus 5y equals dt. Integrate both sides and we get this line here the power of minus 5t and if we gave an initial solution of 1.43 yt equals 1.43 e to the minus 5t that should be a decimal point not a comma how do we do it uh, we have the top bit that's one two three those three lines there that's a function and then we create the script here so I might look at that rather than look at it in MATLAB that. There's the function. What are we trying to f solve? We're trying to get the numerical solution to dy dt equals minus 5y, or there we have it there. So, we've defined the function, uh, we've named it simple ODE, and I don't want to go too quickly here, but I don't know if you can see up the very top of the screen, the name of the file is simple ODE and the name of the function is simple ODE. They have to be the same. How do we get it to work? Uh, we clear the screen, we close all figures, we clear the workspace. Here we go. These are the two outputs, T and Y, ODE 45. Time span of 0 to 10, in, in, and it, that's just a, nearly the default. Uh, in you know, in any college, you usually say not to ten, and there's our initial solution, one point four three, and then we just have a little plot here. So let's run that. Blow that up a little bit, so you can see here that we're getting fairly close to zero. Go back to the command prompt in MATLAB. I have two things in the workspace. T and Y. Remember, we you always get T and Y. Well, they're usually called. You can name hands and you want. You can name them cats and dogs, but you, by default, so if we just type T there. Now I have more on, so that's just. I don't want to go too quickly, but you can see there we're just gradually working our way through time. I'm just going to do a Control Z there or Control C to get out of that. And now uh, Y, and you can see here that the error is fairly high at the beginning and then just thinking of the more advanced bit and then as we just scroll on there there's the Y okay so and there's our uh, graphical solution now we want to know the next bit is we want to know how accurate our was and we are going to get the error so let's just go back to here Uh, now I just put that up there but really I shouldn't have done that because we're going to tack that on to the end of uh, the script I just ran uh, the real the real solution is there and we're going to get the error now remember we've got y from above so we're j and then these lines here we're going to get four plots so let's look at that in MATLAB. Sorry for going around. There we are. There's the stuff we saw before, and I've just tucked that in or tacked that on, whichever way you want to be. There's my resolution, there's my error. I get four plots using the subplot command in one figure. I hope you know how to do this anyway. And let's run that. Blow that up. So there's the first one. Uh, remember, so that's a numerical solution. Remember, we saw that before. Some of the y values just dip a little bit below zero, so that's why it's going from 0 to 0 0.2. Uh, and here, none of them really dip uh, below zero, so that's why the two y-axes are look different but I suppose I could have 
to be minus 0.2 to get it to look like this, but that's, I hope it's okay. There's the relative error, quite big early on. We might be able to see it just at time equals zero, but anyway, 10 to the minus four. And say even after one second, we're down to say 0.2 by 10 to the minus four. And visually anyway, uh, after two seconds, we're this close to zero. Prompt. Just do a who's. Now remember we have error here and real solution. So, so if I just type error, now remember I have more on. So, and you can see over time if I just keep pressing the return button, the error starts to drop. So you just I don't know what time we're at here, but we're at point oh two seven. Uh, here we're at. Uh, the fifth decimal place. And there, we're still at the fifth decimal place. So it'll oscillate around a bit, but you can see generally the error drops. Now it doesn't actually drop to zero. I suppose if we went a bit further, we did not to 100. Okay. Thanks very much.